Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Takedi and Beyond. Today we're doing the Virgo monthly horoscope for March 2019. That can apply to Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a lot of Virgo in your chart. Um, or if you're cross-watching, I guess. <laughs> so before I pull any cards, I always tune into the energy and jot down some notes on what I felt, what I experienced, messages to give to you guys from, you know, spirit, guides, that kind of thing. So I, at first, felt fear versus confidence. And then they showed me um, like a comet hitting the earth. Now don't freak out. <laughs> This isn't going to happen, but it's metaphor. It's symbolic for an earth-shaking earth change. And you guys are an earth sign. So this represents massive change coming into your life. So sometimes massive change comes from an internal shift. I'm feeling like for you guys, it's going to... It's like an outside catalyst or force which causes you to change your life or causes change in your life. Then I felt um, a right knee twitch. The right side of the body is the masculine side of the body. It's like the, the positive side of a magnet or a battery. It's just a charge. It's not positive in like the good sense. Um, but it's not bad. <laughs> the masculine side is representing action. And in this sense, it was about positive movement forward, progress and potential, and moving forward by taking action. So there might be some slight disorientation initially as the change takes place, but ultimately the positive movement is going to bring you forward. Okay, so let's look into the cards. Let's see what the cards have to say. I'm just going to use my normal um, traditional Rider weight deck and the month to month spread that I normally do. I've got the Gilded Tarot as clarifiers and a couple of other decks on call if I feel guided to them. Shuffle these on camera for you. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me um, or a Reiki healing session to help you through times of change, the information is in the description box below. Just send me an email so we can connect. Okay, so Virgo, current self. I'm going to get all the cards out on the table in the spread first, and then we'll go into each card in detail and pull clarifiers if we need. Virgo's current self coming up as the Six of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Fool. The Fool seems to be coming out for a lot of people, so there seems to be a lot of new beginnings going on right now, which of course makes sense as we're in spring, and we've just come out of the new year. We're moving into the new... The new cycle of well okay so for example our Gregorian calendar says that the new year is in January but at at a solar more galactic level I guess you could say the new year is actually in March so this is this is the new year <laughs> we we this makes perfect sense okay so the theme of the month theme of the month for Virgo. That's too many. Theme of the month for Virgo. The chariot. Theme of the month. Oh, sorry. Key goal is what I meant. Yeah, so these wanted to come out 
key goal and theme of the month are going to be sort of interrelated because I was, I guess that's what just happened. <laughs> um, the obstacle to overcome. Seven of wands. Yeah. Major accomplishment. is the seven of swords in reverse and the five of pentacles okay what to avoid ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse what to embrace Jeez Louise. Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups. Okay. Where to find support. Nine of Cups. And the Advice and Encouragement. Knight of Swords. Okay, so as I was saying, you have this new beginning. This is a fresh start, especially um, we have the, what is it, the full moon in Libra on the 20th of March, and then we have the spring equinox, the spring solstice on the 21st, which both of those mark very big new beginnings. So you have this opportunity, the current self right now, wanting to embark on a journey, wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting a, a completely fresh start and new beginning. And you're being guided to, to do this because you have the sun here. Again, I'm being drawn to the horse is movement forward. The child represents innocence and purity as well as freedom from limitation. You know, he's not worried about what anybody's thinking. He's just happy to be himself. We've also got abundance and healing here from the sun, clarity and enlightenment, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things more clearly than you have in the past and being able to heal things that may have kept you stuck and stagnant from moving forward on your new beginning. And the current self is also the six of pentacles. So the pentacles are an earth sign, just like you, and the six represents balance. So there needs to be, or there is in your current self right now, a balance between giving and receiving. So as you can see, he's got the scales, with him there and he's giving, he's being charitable to those who are needy because he, he has an abundance and so he wants to share. I just got deja vu. Um, the theme of the month, we have the chariot. So the chariot being about balance again and positive movement forward. Key goal for this month though is the tower and the hanged man. So you do have a lot of major arcana coming out, which of course is the major change that's going on. Major arcana are major changes in your life. And the tower especially is associated with major change. But it's like the comet. It's the lightning striking the foundation of something that isn't working anymore and it needs to be destroyed. But it doesn't have to be as tumultuous as this. It doesn't have to be scary. It is giving you the chance for enlightenment and clarity and healing. So when a comet blasts into your life to wake you up or a lightning strikes you or something like that, it may seem chaotic in the moment, but you know, when somebody tells the story afterwards, they're like, wow, this was amazing and it changed everything for the better and I'm so thankful that that happened. And that's the perspective that's being required of you or that's going to be brought forth within you. So you've got this halo around his head. He has become enlightened by seeing things from a different perspective. Yes, he's suspended and he's tied up, but he's not stagnant because he's 
growing internally. He's shifting his perspective on this huge change. Do you want to see it as something that you fear? Or do you want to see it as an opportunity? It's up to you. The perspective of enlightenment is seeing it as an opportunity and then working with it as an opportunity and taking that movement forward and having that new beginning and all of this abundance and healing. The obstacle to overcome is the seven of wands. And the seven of wands is about fast movement. It's about things being set in motion and once these sticks all hit the ground, they're going to land in specific places. The wheels have already started. The, the sticks are in the air. They're going to land soon and it's going to happen really quickly. Things are going to change. But this is the obstacle to overcome. It's this very fast communication of something coming in. So for example, out of nowhere you might lose your job. Like there was no lead up to this, there was nothing, and just all of a sudden you get called in and they say, we're not gonna need you anymore or something like that. I don't wish that upon anybody, but if that is in your highest good, it'll seem like an obstacle, but really in reality, you'll look back later and realize that it changed your life for the better. How many stories have you heard of this happening to people? They say, you know, I was working at a job that I liked. It was okay. It wasn't super fulfilling, but it was good money and whatever. And then they lose their job by some fortuitous circumstance or not seeming fortuitous at the, at the time, but some, you know, bolt of lightning, huge upheaval in their life. And then they find their purpose. They gain freedom. They get to choose what it is that they want to do because they've already lost everything. So there's nothing more to lose. It's, it's about fulfillment. I don't want to scare you guys. It, this is a really, really positive thing. It could be something small too. It could just be, but I, I am feeling like it's a really big change. I'm trying to like downplay it because I don't want to freak you out, but it is a really big change. And it's a really big, like, physical change. But there's not a lot of negative cards here, so I really don't even think that it's going to be super... It's not going to be, like, this huge grief of loss. It's going to be a little bit chaotic and a little bit disorienting, like I was feeling. But it's not going to be that bad. You guys can handle this. You're very grounded and you've got your shit together. <laughs> Excuse my French, but you do. You're Virgos. You, you're very focused and driven and you have the ambition to do anything that you want so long as you, as you choose to do it. If you have a goal, it will be accomplished. So the major accomplishment this month we have is the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords in reverse speaks of truth because in, in the upright, it speaks of deception, self-deception or deception from another person, being lied to, being stolen from. But in the reverse, so this, this is saying there's truth coming through. There's self-awareness coming through. There's truth coming to light from other people this could be communication of something especially because the seven of wands speaks of communication fast unexpected communication which could change everything for you and this seven of swords is it's the truth the truth that you needed to hear maybe that you didn't want to hear but that you needed to hear and the accomplishment coming up as the five of pentacles, which is interesting because the five of pentacles is about feeling like you don't have enough. It's about feeling like you're on the outside when you want to be on the inside. It's feeling put out. So the accomplishment is going to be you being put out of something that wasn't serving you. It's the universe's way of redirecting you 
It's like, you're not where you needed to be, so we're just gonna up and put you where you need to be. And it's gonna be a little bit jarring, disorienting, confusing, chaotic, but it's it doesn't have to be suffering. There doesn't have to be this, this lack. You're just being repositioned, that's all. So what to avoid? Yeah, what to avoid? We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is interesting because the Ten of Pentacles speaks of abundance monetarily, having everything that you need, that sense of fulfillment um, when it comes to the financial or the material aspects of your life. It also relates to family and um, the home environment. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse speaks of saving so what to avoid what to avoid so this is like family inheritances this is like generational money and wealth savings okay so this is savings and the page of pentacles is saying don't use your savings <laughs> okay because this isn't what to avoid so this is saying you won't need to use your savings or there's nothing to fear. There's no, don't fear needing to dip into your savings or that you're going to lose it all or something like that. Avoid falling into that mentality. If you really, really have to, you can use your savings. That's what they're there for. It's, you know, it's the security net. But I feel like they're telling you that you don't need to worry that Everything's going to be provided for you. This isn't going to cut into anything that you've built. It's not going to destroy anything that's real. It will only take away things that are not real, things that are not the truth. So whatever it is that's going to happen, it's, it's not going to affect what's actually yours. Okay? So don't worry. Don't worry. What to embrace? We have Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Cups. So the Ace of Pentacles in the upright is an offering from the universe. It's an offering of abundance. It's a new beginning of a physical nature. So it's interesting that what to embrace it's coming up reversed. For me, I think this is trying to tell you, I'm feeling intuitively like this is trying to tell you to embrace the insecurity embrace the fear <laughs> because as virgos as earth signs and i don't want to stereotype and lump everybody into this category but there are tendencies towards feeling that the sense of security that you have in your energy and in your life stems from money or from financial security job security home security that kind of a thing like having everything that you need at your fingertips quite literally, but this is, this change, this shakeup, this lightning bolt, this, this comet is coming to shift where you're putting your values and where you're, you're gaining your security from. And it's asking you, instead of gaining your security from the things that you have, it's shifting you into a place of having security from your emotional self, from your energetic self, from your sensitivities, from your, from your, yeah, your emotional fulfillment rather than just physical fulfillment. So embrace the emotional fulfillment that's to come because we have where to find support and that's exactly what we see, emotional fulfillment and achievement. So this is, you know, he's sitting there happy as a clam. He's got all his cups. He's manifested them himself. He filled them all up himself. And he's happy. He's very, very happy. He's fulfilled. He's got everything that he wants emotionally. So this is where to find support. Know that you have the emotional need you have the, the, the fulfillment emotionally and it will be coming. 
So whatever it is physically that's going on, you're supported emotionally and you will have this fulfillment, which is awesome. You'll have everything that you need, is what they're saying. Advice and encouragement. King of, uh, sorry, Knight of Swords. Ride in fearlessly. S be swift. Take action. Have no fear. This is also about clear communication. The advice and encouragement is about, but I'm really just seeing him moving forward. It's about moving forward. So again, when I felt that twinge in my knee, that can be a fear of moving forward, fear of change. So the advice and encouragement is to embrace this change because you have, you've created it. You, you wanted this for yourself and you, you might not see the bigger picture quite yet, but you will. You will once you get to that place of fulfillment, which is why this is all happening. This is all happening for your highest good. This is all happening so that you can find that fulfillment and live the life of your dreams. That's what they're saying. So this is all very positive. So don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna get an in or uh, sorry, an oracle card from the crystal deck. Virgo, how can they? What crystals would facilitate them at this time to get through this change? Rainbow Mayanite, Mayanite. Let's find out. Well, first of all before I even jump into the book, it's number 22. And twos represent balance and stability, but they also represent trust. So this is asking, like 22 is asking you to trust that all of this is happening for your highest good. So whatever massive change and upheaval is going on in your life or is going to happen is for your highest good, like I was saying. So it's they're asking you to trust, like know that this is for for you and it's oh that's so amazing because the rainbow bridge it's the rainbow bridge rainbow mayanite iridescent rainbow mayanite bridges this world and the rest of creation it heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of con consciousness you are a leader when you raise your vibrations the whole benefits De-energize old patterns, release karmic incrustations and toxic dross from your etheric body. This crystal will assist in this. Go within to find your rainbow treasure house. Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. Apparently detrimental situations offer soul gifts. Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You, th you see things from both sides. Always speak true no matter what the cost, but be tactful. You have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to a realm of infinite possibilities. <laughs> this is is this not the most perfect card? Is that not everything that we were just talking about? You can't make this shit up, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just really excited because this is so profound. Oh, and there's activations in this as well. I just saw um, 411. So 411, this information is activating you. This video is activating you. So it's a very positive activation. Everything that they were just saying there has come up in this reading. <laughs> it's so funny because they were saying communication, be, be very honest, but be tactful. And this is exactly what the Knight of Swords is saying as well, because he's very honest and he rushes in with his communication, but he could be a little bit more tactful in the way that he goes about it, um, which is funny why I, I accidentally called this king, because the king is more tactful than the knight. So that's so funny. I just love how spirit and the universe works this is truly 
magical. You have to trust these signs, okay? This is the this is the task. And they're doing it to me too. They're asking it of me as well. You're not alone in this. And it's funny because this actually relates a lot to me. I'm not a Virgo, I'm a Pisces, but I I feel a lot of this in my life as well. I'm quitting my job and I'm moving to a new location and it's so funny because I, <laughs> there's a, a bridge right by my new house and it, it has the, it's a pedestrian bridge and it's got these lights that light up and they change color and they're the colors of the rainbow. It's the rainbow bridge. And I'm starting this new life and I am pursuing my dream of doing healing work and tarot as a career. I used to be a server. I'm quitting that, I did that for nine years, I'm quitting being a server, and I'm becoming what I'm truly meant to be, which I've always been, but I want to do this professionally. I want to do this for a living. So if you guys want to book a reading or a healing session with me, I would love your support, and I'd love to support you. You know, it's mutual. So um, I just wanted to tell you guys that because I'm a walking example of, of what what you guys are, are this opportunity that's coming for you and we're very connected through that so <sighs> yes beautiful reading you guys that's this was really a blessing and, and I'm very grateful that I was the one who was able to channel and facilitate this for you so um thank you so much for watching I wish you all of the best of luck, and I know that you have it. You you do. You just have the best of luck, so don't worry about anything. I love you guys. We'll see you next month. Bye.